The Reverend Al Sharpton is a civil rights icon praised by prominent figures in politics. But many in the mainstream media have sought to downplay the negatives surrounding the firebrand minister who has been accused of being a rabble rouser out for personal gain. Sharpton sought involvement in the funeral of Akai Gurley, an African-American shot dead in November by a rookie police officer in the darkened stairwell of a housing project in Brooklyn, New York, Gurley's family told him to stay away. Sharpton held a news conference condemning the cop and promised to deliver a eulogy at the wake. But Gurley's aunt, who was speaking for his mother, told TMZ Al Sharpton came in, put his name on the situation, but has not even made one single call to the parents of Akai, adding that all Sharpton sees is money and political gain, and he is turning this tragedy into a circus. The Reverend accused an upstate New York prosecutor, Stephen Pagones, of being part of a group of white men who raped teenager Tawana Browley in 1987. A grand jury found overwhelming evidence that the rape allegations had been fabricated. Pagone sued Sharpton for defamation and won a judgment of $65,000. Sharpton reportedly paid the judgment with money raised by his supporters. In a 2011 interview with 60 Minutes, given the opportunity to express regret for the false accusations, he said no and still feels the case was mishandled. Sharpton worked as a government informant. In 2002, HBO aired a 19-year-old FBI videotape of an undercover sting operation showing Sharpton with an FBI agent posing as a Latin American businessman and a reputed Colombo crime family captain. Sharpton said in 1988 that he informed the government in order to stem the flow of crack cocaine into black neighborhoods although the smoking gun alleged that he was paid to be an informant. In 2005, Sharpton appeared in three TV commercials for loan mats, an automobile title loan firm that reportedly charged fees that were the equivalent of 300% APR loans. Claiming Whitney Houston wasn't black enough, Sharpton called for a boycott of Whitney Houston, mocking her as Whitey Houston. This obviously pained the singer, yet Sharpton also issued a statement of grief after her death, creating a striking hypocrisy.